what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back to a new video. Um, yo, my guest. Yeah, 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 always a special guest here. Yeah. And I go by the name Ahmed Ba. I hope you guys recognize him again, guys, my yeah, previous yeah, yeah. video. Um, so I brought him over to check out some videos. So today we're going to be right to shocking truth about Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto you. It's mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Um, we want to give this a try and see. I want to hear his own opinion about it. Yeah. I'm always ready, always, always ready to give my own opinion because it matters a lot. It's my Muslim friend, my only <laughs> Muslim friend that is uh, close to me like that. Okay, yeah. that's, that's nice. You know, man. <laughs> 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 so, guys, that's what I do. Let's get into this video. Okay. Talk less right on react more. Let's mm -hmm. get into this video. Rational believer. Okay. <clears throat> I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Yerushalam. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im, im, I am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Elah stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals, plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim, who is this us? Is Allah? Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But it's us, who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul Allahu Ahad, say, He is Allah, the one and only. Here he's talking about us. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this us? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one. 
of respect. I, I love how he went in Jew. In the this is his book. Yeah, I ask him what is with him. Yeah. He said, Look, in my language, this is the plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect, we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad, Im. Muhammad, Im. Plural of respect. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ according to the Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa bin Maryam says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, in me, Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-Tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasulin ya'ti min ba'd ismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God Ahmad that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says look it's not, it's not in my book it's not here there's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad wait wait wait, wait. in the Quran it was written um, for many Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto me, is, is a prophet that is going to come. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's written there based on that chapter we just read. Yeah. So he's talking about Jesus telling the people of Israel, like, I'm, I'm a messenger to you. Yeah, I'm here to, like, fulfill something that was before me, a revelation that came before me. Okay. And there will come a prophet after me named Ahmad, and which is a synonymous name to Muhammad. That was what was written in the Quran. In the Quran. Yeah, Quran. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what he just read to you. But the thing is, and that's where the seven was not written in the Bible. Fine. So that's that's where the thing came in. He was telling you like, and when you read the Hebrew chapter, Songs of Solomon, they said the verse he quoted. Yeah. It was like in the Hebrew chapter, Muhammadim is added there, and the yeah. im is a plural of respect. So Muhammad name is mentioned there. And I get. Sorry, sorry for cutting yeah. you for me, um, that the song of Solomon itself that was saying um, altogether lovely, according to the English uh, translation, mm -hmm. I don't think he was basically talking about Muhammad itself. Like, Why? if you read the context of the, of the book itself, like mm -hmm. the song of Solomon, like, the chapter I said, 
So it's not talking about a man like Muhammad. So it's not referring to him. Like when you're saying a story, the story ought to be pointing to this person in particular, but it was not pointing to Muhammad in particular. The, the thing, what, what I want you to understand is this, like, when you read the Hebrew, like, the original text, according to, like, the Christians here, I the did. Old Testament, yeah. the word there is written Muhammadin, and we saw one of the um, rabbis saying mm. the name there is written Muhammadin, even you saw when they translated it into the English I, um, I understand. Dictionary. What I'm trying to say is, like, the Song of Solomon itself mm. was not actually referring to Muhammad. Okay, you, you know, w- one thing I've understood about, like, the religious books that came you get yeah they will start something like a chapter talking about this but the continuation won't be on that particular chapter it will be somewhere else i don't know if you've noticed that i get but aside the name like muhammadin mm-hmm. there ought to be like for instance um the prophet will be saint muhammadin or there will be a sign muhammadin like it was not actually referring to someone that is going to come or something that is going to happen. Oh, well, like um, that's that is my own point of view. You do you oh, understand? Uh-huh. Okay, I get you. So I, get I don't, you. from my own opinion, I don't feel like they were basically talking about Muhammad. Okay, you understand? All right. Though it was written Muhammadin, and it was translated altogether lovely, which I don't know if it's actually someone his name in particular. The reason, if it was um. The that pro- time, um, the prophet's name. Okay. Uh huh. Because the thing, yeah, I get your point. Because the thing you, I want you to like understand at the same time is this, yeah. You know the the um religious books way back how it came when they mention someone's name, you don't need to like translate it. You understand? Yeah. Because like um those Eastern language and talking about Arabic and Hebrew as well, like they are rich in terms of context and language. You get so you can't compare it to English basically because like one thing they will say you can translate it like when it translated to English it doesn't bring out the same meaning and yeah. the rich context itself. You see, like someone like Jesus' name now is called Yeshua, mm-hmm. but we all know him like it's the most popular one is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. so you see all those things. Yeah, I get your point, but like I feel like when you mention someone's name there mm-hmm. and he made comparison like. Elo, Ila is yeah. God, yeah, in Hebrew. Yeah. They will say Elohim is a sign of respect. Yeah. So when you saw Muhammadin, like even the rabbi said, like his name is mentioned there, yeah. So like you just changing it to like altogether lovely, which is another name, which is the, the same meaning of Muhammad when you yeah. translate it like the praiseworthy one, the chosen one, and something like that. Mm. So for me, based on my opinion, like we believe as Muslims here yeah, that his name was mentioned there. But like we all have our opinions, you get. True. So you see. True, bro. <laughs> I was feeling like there ought to be something else to like tie the knots. Do you understand? What about I'm okay. About yeah. Muhammad, like okay. because like maybe yeah. a prophet is going to call Muhammad Din or something. Muhammadin, like okay. the context of the self of the song of cinema was not actually referring to okay okay to him so like, I, get, I don't know how to put it but yeah the name being mentioned there so no what, doubt, what, what, no, doubt what? no doubt that it's yeah. muhammadin yeah muhammad are talking about but i don't feel like they were actually talking about him okay well like in the context i wish you can take our time and read the song of Solomon, so you will like understand the whole story where it's coming from okay the thing is like yeah that one is cool too but i just wish we can get that chapter which one he's talking about yeah we'll get it and we'll, read from there we'll read from there and then we'll be able to like understand the entire thing so let's keep on watching it for us and see how the video ends okay so you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there you see they have a verses in the bible in the gospel of saint john chapter 16 where it says nevertheless i tell you the truth jesus says it is expedient for you that i go away for if i go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if i go i will send him and when he's come he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not in me and on and on 
he says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of okay. truth? Ask Pardon me for this. Um, was yeah. this actually written in, in the Quran? Um, concerning him talking about Muhammad, like he yeah, a messenger to come. Like this chapter itself that was written. Um, so, yeah, in the Bible. you have similar things written about this, about Muhammad. Like you, yeah, go, where God talks about like he won't see something that is not like being told to him to see. He doesn't say something in his own words. You get like just making opinions. Okay, based on these things, we should do it this way. Whatever he said is what God commanded him to like say. You get. I okay. think one time I told you about like when the the Kuf, the Kafir, like the unbelievers came to him and asking him about your God. Mm. You see, and the Quran. Most times we get this thing like when you start some certain word, you say Ul. He's being commanded by God to say Ul say. Okay. You get. So like there are a lot of verses when you say Ul say, like he's being commanded by God to say. And when they came to him, they asked him, who is the God you worship? He said, Ul. It started, Ul, say, Hua. The one you're asking for, Allah, is Allah. Ahad. He's one. So you see, he's not saying like, okay, my God is one, my God is this. He's discreet. Like, how they told, how God said he should say, it. that's how he says it. So you see. So, and you look at this chapter, it's like, you see, he's continuing to say, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. You get. Yeah. And if you this verse, like I, I don't know for you, but like a lot of Christians are telling me, like, okay, it's like he's talking about the comforter here. You get. But the comforter is a spirit, right? Okay. According to how Jesus. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because if you, if you read this verse, um, sixteen, John chapter sixteen, verse twelve to fourteen. Mm. You keep on reading. Mm. You you observe like when he says like the Holy Spirit. Okay, you know, so but, after he have uh, made this explanation, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall, shall hear, hear that, that shall he shall speak. speak. Okay. You understand? Know, so when you keep on reading it, then you see like it was written in the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's why okay. we Christian keeps like uh, keep on like saying like it's the Holy, it's the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay, because you look at it from this context, we all did English in yeah. school, yeah. Even though it's not our first language, but we all did English. Sure. Okay, you know when you use pronoun. We have the masculine and the feminine. feminine yeah. Fine. He and she. Yeah? Yeah. So the he when you're talking about a man or a living being, if it's like something that doesn't have life, we use the word it. You get yeah. it is a ball. But now they're using a masculine pronoun. Yeah. He, 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 he. And the last one was like um he speak of himself, he's talking about um this type of pronoun, I've forgotten. Oh, is it reflexive pronoun or something like that? So uh, I'm sure it's not. So he's talking about he, he, he. I think they mentioned it seven times, something like that. So like, if if it's a spirit based on English written, you'll be using it. Uh, I that, don't know how we're speaking. You in see, it, we have yeah. God the Father, according to Wickless, and God the Father, God the Son, which is Jesus Christ, uh, as a point of belief. Then we have the God the Holy Spirit. Okay. You get. Yeah. So God the Holy Spirit is not just anything. No, so at in English you don't have like something you see you don't see it, it's not anything you and must have like something how to represent it either use he she or it true fine so like them mentioning here like it's he 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 and he, um himself so it's talking about a man well it it, it still cannot be like talking about Prophet Muhammad itself. Okay, but like if you look at all the prophets that have come after Jesus, yeah. because the only prophet that came after Jesus was Muhammad. Yeah, that's what we believe as Muslims. Yeah, so he's a man. Yeah, no, we believe he, Jesus is the last prophet. Okay, Christians you don't believe yeah. Muhammad is last. Okay, okay. So you believe like the Holy Spirit is what he's talking he's about? He's a comforter. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, you see now we believe as Muslim, Muhammad is the last prophet. Okay. Pardon and, me for saying Jesus is the last prophet. Would I see Jesus as? <laughs> prophet like Christian bees okay. you see him as a Messiah 
What's the son that? of God, the son someone of. who was sent by God. So not actually like a prophet per se. Like you know, prophets what? come to speak what God has sent him to do. Yeah. Jesus has that same um line. Yeah. But Jesus is way more than prophets. So he we came Christians, to do God's work, yeah. I understand. So that means he's a messenger, he's a prophet. We Christians, Christians per se, yeah, don't actually see him like a prophet, like basically like prophet, prophet, like okay. the way other like Moses or um Abraham okay, is beyond that. It's beyond that. Okay. okay, that is the superiority okay. he has. Okay, that so that how, that's the difference. So I'm going to correct that when I say um he's the last prophet. I, I, oh, okay. Most well. Christians don't see it um like so, that. So you too, you, you don't see him as a prophet per se. Jesus is a messenger from God. A messenger is the same as <laughs> a messenger is a prophet per se. You can't. Well, I don't see him as an ordinary like man or prophet per se. Okay. So is he as Muslims would believe like they are prophets like we believe it's like if I can recall. God sent down 124,000 prophets yeah. or messengers to talk to their people because way back they were sending them to their people per se. Okay. It gets because even Jesus was sent to the Israelites. True. Yeah. So he came to like not bring something new. It's based on all what the other prophets has ca- have come with way back, which is the message of like the monotheism worshiping of one God. That's why to you, for you to be a Muslim, you have to like say this word, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Mm-hmm. Some people were even at the Ashhadu anna Isa ibn Maryam, okay. like Rasulullah. Like, so you see, it means like I bear with that, that there is no God to worship except the one true God. Okay. So God can be Allah based on Arabic, but God is God. Yeah. And we believe that Muhammad is the last messenger of God, and Isa is also the prophet of God. Okay, so, so even talking about the ranks, we have ranks of prophets. With the top five, we have um, um, Muhammad, Isa, Abraham, uh, Moses, mm. and and Noah. Yeah, may peace be upon them all. So you see, so for here, what 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 we believe, like, if you look at the context, you said, "I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now." How be it when he the spirit of truth is come or comes he will guide you unto all into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak you get yeah so you look at that context the prophet when he get the revelation when he was at cave Hira, what happened like the angel came to him say ikora read he said he cannot read he said he, i think he said it twice or three times they said the second time read he said i am not lettered you get i cannot read they said igra bismira bikalazi read in the name of your lord and he continued like the lord that created man from a clot of blood you get so you are not he's been said the word was said to him and he, re- he repeated after it you get so he was saying something they speak to him something they taught him so you see and he continued he said like he said but whatever he shall hear that shall he speak so you see and he said he shall he will show you things to come like things that will happen and mm-hmm. we have in the hadith like a lot of things that the prophet said will happen like uh, music will be on the increase uh, um, the more people are open to sexual desire the more sickness will come unknown and he said like there will come a time the enter will not come if like the, the, the Arabian Peninsula will be green again. Later we saw like rain fell down and the Arabian Peninsula was, was a desert. Now we have green rays there. And he made a lot of prophecies that have come to pass, not by his power, but by the power of God. Yeah. Okay. So I you guess. see. Um, I want to ask a question. Um, if Jesus himself was um, basically speaking about this um, to Baba Prophet Muhammad, according mm-hmm. to the he, he, he that was being said, yeah. Um, I want to ask, is this written in Quran? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Is this here? Yeah. It can't be written like the way it says like this here, yeah? but it's written like that as well. Well, oh, um, you guys are trying to like believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? yeah, we believe and in him each, as a prophet. Each saying, each saying, um, each words he said, um, his miracles and uh, everything that happened was actually written in the Quran. Yeah, through the power of God. Okay, so. Uh, there are some things that are in the Bible that ought to be in the Quran, uh, according to like what Jesus, his encounter on earth, like what he passed through on earth, like the story itself ought to be in the Quran exactly. That was what 
exactly the same that was written in the Bible. In the Bible. Okay. You see, one one thing as Muslims who believe, I don't know for you people here, yeah? mm-hmm. we believe like in some ways, like some things that are written in the Bible, like the Bible has been tampered with. That's what we believe. Okay. Yeah, I'm just telling you the plain truth. But like seeing all these, like um, Muhammad, like, yeah, God said in the Quran, he doesn't speak of himself as well. He said what, the truth. Like God told him, like, you just be as a messenger because there was a time some of the people were asking the prophet like when will the end time come he said he doesn't know like the knowledge is not with him but with god so you see he's not speaking something for himself like or like just saying something on his own like on his own like yo okay it will happen this time it will happen this time no he said based on what god told him like okay so i want to ask um why do you guys not believe in in the holy spirit because What's the Holy Spirit per se? He's a comforter. How? He's like an inner being. When you experience the Holy Spirit is when you are mostly deeply in um, a worshiping prayer. Uh-huh. And what, you, what will happen? You feel that different presence like inside your body. Inside your body. Yeah. And? Then you, some people start speaking in tongues. Okay. You get. Then some people start performing miracles they never expected that like they can do like some people start laying their hands on sick some people start touching the blind's eyes they start seeing you understand okay. so it's it's a is it's a power i don't know how to put it okay I, I understand you but for us like saying the holy spirit will guide you what we believe as muslims is this like when, when you pray you become closer to god there are a yeah. lot of ways you think differently Okay. God like guide you. That's the thing you say, like the Holy Spirit will guide you to this, this, this. We don't believe in that. We only believe that God is the one that guides someone to better life. Sometimes you see the truth with your eyes, yeah? Mm-hmm. But you don't you don't you don't believe in the truth. You see. When God said like he'll guide you, like it's the heart you get. So uh, the same way like you see in the Holy Spirit, we have things like we have some certain people like um, some certain verses I told you last time, like sometimes you see me before I sleep, I read and just blow my hands or wipe mm-hmm. on my body. It's like we believe that there are other forces around us, like the the, the evil eye and all those things. We have chapters in the Quran you read for protection, but when you read it, not like this Quran will protect you. You have been protected by God, but there are chapters in the Quran that says when you read this, you get protection. Like devil won't come your way at that point in time. You get okay, so you see, so like we believe, like all these things, even Muhammad, he's a mere mortal for us. Every prophet that came was a mere mortal, they does not have power to do anything only by the command of God. Okay, so, so that's where the difference comes between Christians and Muslim perceive. Okay, I understand, I understand that one. Um, I want to ask, eh, um, do Muslim like perform miracles? Muslim performs miracles. miracles like healing, um, raising dead, or yeah, like raising the dead, like healing the blind, um, healing the lame. Also, right, like right bl- now, like since history, since Prophet Muhammad, um, period of time, see it. The prophets used to like when you are sick. The prophet used to like read for people, Quran through God's power. They okay. would heal. There was this time this. Um, guy was it a king or a leader was like he was bad to the Muslims yeah so um, the prophet's companions like I think they went there the guy a snake beats the guy mm-hmm. so they went there they, what happened or not happened let me just call it short yeah they read some verses of the Quran I okay. think they spit on their hands or like blow on their hands and put it there the, the guy was healed so you see all those things but we believe like all those things that they do was not by their power it's through god's power you get so even now you have some people like just like how you a devil will possess someone mm-hmm. in this world like when pastors used to pray for them yeah okay. you have what we call yeah in the sense like someone can be possessed by a devil you know that thing is real yeah you have verses you read in the quran you have people who are specialized in that field yeah, they will do it. They read for you. The thing will come out. Okay. So you see, so all those things, yeah. Okay. 
because Jesus said, um, greater work I did, um, shall you also do also, according to our Bible. Like, Jesus okay. did a lot of miracles in the Bible. So it was like, greater works himself is doing, we human shall do also when he has lived us. Oh, also, yeah. when he was there too, he, the um, disciples were all trying performing miracles through the power of God. Yeah, okay. okay so let's keep watching and see how the video turns out. Yeah, Christian is the Holy Ghost. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They say the Holy Ghost. I said, all right, if this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now. What new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. How be it? When he... The spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. Man, man, man. Not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told he's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's a seven spirits. I mean, it should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. Same John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Don't believe in every prophet. Same John. In the gospel of Saint John, he says, it says, he that is born of spirit is spirit, and he that is born of the flesh is flesh. So do spirits beget? Do they prohibit? He says, no. Then how can you be born of spirit? No. Then what it means there is that who is spirit? You see, um, this verse itself, he was saying, he's making an explanation. He is born of the spirit is spirit, who is born of the flesh is flesh. You know when um, Mary was pregnant? Mm -hmm. She was not. She didn't meet with any man. She didn't have sex with any man. Yeah. What actually happened? She got pregnant. How did she got pregnant? Um. Are you talking about the process? What happened? Yeah. Like she got pregnant. Like God sent. Um. If I can recall in the Quran, God sent um an angel. I don't know if it's angel of Gabriel. Okay. To like give had a good tidings like you get pregnant and he said like how can I get pregnant when no man has taught you and it continued like when God says come fire come be and it's and it is you guys your Quran didn't say like um, spirit enter into how yeah I'm sure it said something like that but I've not read that verse well okay. yet but I'm sure but you see what I'm saying Jesus himself the story pertaining Jesus Christ coming to the earth mm -hmm. My Bible also say like the spirit of God and like enter into her, like spirit enter into her. Okay. She bare forth a flesh, a spirit went in, and the flesh comes out. Yeah. So with such a man that the spirit goes in to a human form, a human body, mm -hmm. and the flesh comes out. 
So what is your take to that? Because you see who is born of the spirit is spirit, who is born of the flesh is flesh. Uh, so, so you're trying to say like... Say, uh, I'm trying to say like, mm -hmm. Jesus, is Jesus Christ himself is not just a regular prophet. He's okay, yeah. not just a regular being. Okay, he's a different being above everyone. He came as flesh. Okay. But him himself is spirit. Okay. You, do, do you get me? Yeah, I get you, yeah. So, um, I don't feel like he should be talking about the Holy Spirit in that kind of like description he's seeing it. Okay. There was there was a verse that said, um, thou shall not believe in um, any spirits. Yeah. There are different kind of spirits. You, do you get? There are demons. Okay. There are different, different kind of spirit that possesses people. You get according to my belief. So, that was, I feel like that was what Jesus Christ was actually telling them. You should not believe in any spirits. Neither should you believe in any prophets. Because there are many false prophets that are coming out. Yeah. According to what Jesus Christ is saying. Okay. You see, there are some prophets who goes, takes power from um, those uh, demonic powers, demonic okay. spirits. When you see prophets, like... Like, let me say, the pastors, for instance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> some pastors who go take power from... Um, the other side. Yeah, the dark sides. Okay. Then use it to be performing some miracles and some other stuff. Okay. I think that was what Jesus Christ was actually referring to. Okay, I can't deny that fact. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't deny that fact. Saying like it's referring to all that. And it totally makes sense. That's why well, what Ahmed did that is trying to tell us here is like, the word spirit being used in the Bible doesn't always stand for the Holy Spirit. We all Christians know that. Okay, true. so... That so, one is true. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that there is a lot of spirits. Okay. A lot. There's some people also... um do those devil signs i don't know how to put it then they will invoke some spirits that is going to come yeah you get mm -hmm. uh -huh. so we all know that there are different kind of spirits in particular but the holy spirit itself we're talking about is different from those are just spirits okay that is our own christian base but i was referring to it like for me it's kind of like oh okay. contradicting in some way okay in my own opinion okay okay let's keep watching guys Spiritually inclined is spiritual, who is materialistically inclined is flesh. What brought you here tonight? Some kind of gift that you were expecting from D-Dad? You know, he's going to give you some sweet meat? What? Some chocolate? Is that what brought you here? If that was the case, and suppose I give it out to you, you are materialistically inclined. Material things brought you here. So you are a materialist. In the language of the Bible, you are fleshy, you are of the flesh, materialist. If it was spiritual consideration, motivation that brought you here, then you are spiritual. The gospel language, say he that is born, means the thing that motivates you, that brings you up into being. If it is spirit, spiritually, then you are a spirit. And if you are fleshly, you are flesh. Material, you are flesh. <laughs> No, does he speak out of his yeah. own desire? So, yeah, from the Quran. Okay, this was also written in the Quran. It is yeah. but a divine revelation which is revealed to him. He he was taught by an angel, okay, who is mighty in power. Okay. Quran, uh, Quran 53 verse 5, 5 to 3 to 5, sorry. So you hear the comparison now, yeah? Okay, those, those to whom we give the scripture recognize him, Muhammad, as they recognize their sons. Yet a group of them hide the truth knowingly. Okay. Okay. I I actually understand the similarities because they oh, okay. are in the bible there is a lot of similarities that are also um in the, in the quran, quran. so okay. that itself it's 
it's obvious but in the Quran they were actually referring to Muhammad the diff that is the difference I'm picking out in the Quran they were actually referring to Muhammad in the Bible we Christian believe they were, it was no specif Holy specifically Spirit. referring to the Holy Spirit okay so you see that is the contradiction do according to what I've seen here the actual tally in some way but it was not actually written in the same context like in the same context okay. let me put it like that but everything I still state my fact according to the um, Song of Solomon he is made, made mention of um, the Bible was not actually or the Song of Solomon was not actually referring to Prophet Muhammad okay so it was not for you like it yeah, wasn't if, if we were to go check check it out like song of solomon of solomon chapter six chapter five okay chapter five verse 16. so if we are to read in that like from start to end it's going to take time let's just start from um let's say 12. His eyes are as the rivers of doves by the rivers of waters, washed with milk and filthy set. His cheeks are as a bed of spices, as sweet flowers. His lips like lilies, dropping sweet smelling meat. His hands are as gold, rings set with the berry. His, his belly is as bright ivory, mm -hmm. overlaid with Safaris. safaris. His legs are as pillars of marble, marble set upon sockets of fine gold. His countenance is as Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Ye, he is altogether lovely. That's when um the um word came out. Prophet um, Muhammad. Yeah. This is my beloved, and this is my friend or daughter of Jerusalem. O daughters of Jerusalem, this okay. is my beloved. Okay. This is my friend. So, o so, 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 like it was giving descriptions about what they who they are talking about. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So, but if you look at the descriptions per se, he, 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 he. So, ah, based on this, like, how will you describe the Holy Spirit? Because it this, enters no, everyone. This, seems, this is Song of Solomon. This was not actually talking about the Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Okay. The point of like John when Jesus himself it was Jesus that bring about the the Holy Spirit thing to us. Okay, you understand. After Jesus was like he's going to send a comforter. That was when we Christians started knowing about the Holy Spirit per se. Okay. The Old Testament there was nothing like the Holy Spirit sending us. Should okay. I, was it? Was it Holy Spirit Old Testament? You are trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Like me too. Me too. I just kind of like. I'm so not that, sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I feel Holy like Spirit, it's the New Testament that like, the Holy okay, Spirit started coming okay, about okay, after okay. Jesus mentioned it to us. Oh, okay. So, 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 so for like, me, yeah. I, this scripture itself, for me, my own honest opinion, it was not specifically talking about um, Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay. Do the meaning they altogether lovely is Muhammad. Okay. According to um, the translation. Yeah. Okay. So I, I get your point, though. We we'll all just pray for guidance, and we pray we get the truth. That's all. Yes. <laughs> so like it, it was fun though. It was really fun. Like it's nice talking about this sometimes and all. Yeah, so that's like true. there are a lot of differences, but all we have to like say is we, we are all in our own path, finding God in our own way. We all have our beliefs, but we I always pray that. I find guidance. I pray you to find guidance. That's all, bro. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this with us. Mean us. Can't subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all over